there. I think that ought to do. Hello. Um, welcome to episode 27 of Miss Strawberry Makes. This is a crafty podcast about knitting, crocheting, sewing, and any other crafty shenanigans that I get up to. My name's Michelle, and you can find me on Instagram as Miss Strawberry Short Girl. I am coming from you from the Midwest of the United States of America. Well, welcome! If you are a returning watcher, thanks for coming back. So great to see you again see you again and if you are a new um, viewer thanks for trying this out I hope you enjoy it um, and if you do enjoy it be cool if you would like and subscribe and all that fun stuff um, so yes let me think here I think it's been goodness it may have been close to a month again now since I've made a little episode um, I did not get a whole lot done this time, but um, I did get one sock mostly done. So um, let's just go ahead and jump in. Um, I don't technically have any finished objects, just like a half finished object. So um, that is in this lovely bag by Candy Patch. It's a Candy Patch Designs, I think. And I this lovely bag. I'll put the name down at the bottom here since I'm rubbish at remembering that sort of thing. I love it. These little, the little bunting is Liberty fabric. I just love it. Um, so I am making Sandra of Cherry Hearts Pearly Dot Socks. And I made them out of a set of minis from Mr. And, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit Yarns called Candy Land. And so I was calling them my candy dot socks. So the colors are just so pretty. There's a little hole here, but I'll just make sure to sew that up when I weave in all the ends. It's got the sweet little pickle edge which I love. And then the sweet little lacy pattern overall. So happy with how that is turned out. And I am about, I am nearly ready for the heel on the second sock. So I'm hoping I don't run out of the pink color because I weighed it and it was only nine grams after I'd finished that sock. So. I've been very careful when joining it in not to leave too long of a tail. So hopefully we can make it work. If anything, I might just have to be a little bit, like skip a couple rows of it in these stripes just to kind of make it last. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we'll try and make it work. So anyway, really happy with those. I really like this pattern. Um, I mean, just that little cuff, the edge on there is just so sweet. And then the pattern I just really love. And I think these colors look nice in it. So it's got the heel flapping gusset heel. It's got the eye of partridge, which I really like for the heel flap. And then just like a regular wedge toe. Um, and so when I was doing it, like at the point when I was ready to do the heel, I was at the purple stripe, so I just did the heel in the purple and then just carried on in the stripe sequence rather than having a purple stripe here because um, I didn't think I would like how that looked. And I'm happy with how they turned out. And then it just ended up being yellow for the toe, so I just like, I didn't plan it. What was going to be the heel or toe, just kind of like how it landed is how it landed. So happy with those. Can't wait to get those finished up so I can wear them. Though it's too warm outside here to wear them right now. It'll be cool before we know it. It's already today's August 2nd, my birthday month. So yeah, it'll be fall before you know it. Or autumn. So, um, and then my other work in progress, um, 
I kind of took a break from the Wondrous Dishcloths by Jewels of So Sweet Violet that I was working on um, to start on those socks. I just got a hankering to do those socks. So that's why I did that. Um, hello, Alfie's coming to say hi. Do you want to say hi to the people? Do you want to say hi? He'd rather play with my yarn. Here's Alfie. Say hi, people. Hi, people. He's getting so big. He had a bath last night, so he smells really nice. <laughs> okay, you're free. He's a stinker. All right, so um, I don't know if you saw the last episode. You know that we were planning on starting a... Beatrix Potter make-along starting on Beatrix's birthday July 28th so we did start that um so it's in full swing um if you want more details about that feel free to look at my Instagram um or uh Jackie via Joy Babupri or Kristen of Bobby Pin Bandit um check out mine or one of theirs where did you find that Oh, you little turkey. You little stinker. He loves my yarn. So these shelves down here, you can see these two, but like the whole bottom six are devoid, devoid, they're emptied of their yarn um, because he discovered them. I'm surprised how long it took him to discover them. Um, he's got a thing for wool socks too. But, um, I woke up one morning to a spider's web of yarn. So it had to be moved. Currently it's just in bags and totes and things in my closet, um, until I rearrange. I'm going to take some of the fabric and put it down low because he's not as interested in the fabric. Plus you can't really make a spider's web out of fabric. So that's going to take some doing and I just haven't had the wherewithal to do it, so... That will come. But anyway, we were talking about the Beatrix Potter make-along. So, um, yes, so check out one of our Instagrams if you want more info. Um, but the, you know, make-along is pretty self-explanatory. So just making something Beatrix Potter themed between July 28th and September 1st, I do believe. So yeah, and we're gonna have some giveaways along the way. So we'll be drawing our first winner pretty soon here. Um, and then let you know, you know, what you could win. So the three of us will each be donating a prize. And then we had another lovely lady offer a prize as well. So should be some good things. Um, if anyone else wants to donate a prize, still time to do that as well. Cause the giveaways will be going on throughout the time here. So the more the merrier. If you know of anyone who would like to do that, it would be much appreciated. So I am, for my make-along, I am making the Peter Rabbit by, um, I think her name's Claire. Claire Pebbles, maybe? But anyway, it's Claire of Dots Pebbles, I think. I don't have the pattern printed out, so I'll put it on the screen here, her name, and then I'll insert her picture from Ravelry of the Peter Rabbit softy too. So it's a knitted Peter Rabbit and I am making him of two Angora moose yarns. Um, so one is called Juniper Titmouse and it is um, the Angora moose Kayla dyes all her yarns naturally. So very nice gentle colors. Um, so, and then one was part of a naturally dyed sock set. So one, the, the Juniper Titmouse one is dyed with logwood and black beans. And that is this one. I don't know if you can see all the, all the colors in that on here, but it's kind of a grayish and it's got little bits of brownish in there too. It's a very pretty color. And then the other one was part of a naturally dyed sock set. So it didn't really have a um, name in particular. But this one was naturally dyed with hibiscus, mini dogwood, and iron. So it's kind of 
pinkish and beige. It's a nice color, but I'm actually holding the two together to create a rabbity color. So this is how far I've gotten. Knitted creatures are probably some of the hardest things to show a work in progress picture of. Alfie is up on the ironing board now, which is what my phone is propped up upon. And he's attacking my new socks. Please let go. Thank you. Might have to hang him up. No, you're going to knock over the phone. You're going to knock over the phone, mister. He likes to bite. Okay. Anyway. Oh, it's also in a Beatrix or a Peter Rabbit bag made by Kayla of the Angora Moose. So I really love this bag. It's got lots of nice pockets inside. Um, and I love the drawstring top. And it's got a little wrist thingy too. So anyway, let me show you how Peter is coming along. Again, this is gonna be difficult. I'm sorry my chair is so squeaky. It's a vintage folding chair. It's actually quite comfortable, but it's also quite squeaky. I should try oiling it or something. So here's what the colors look like together. A very nice rabbity color. So this is like then you start at the nose and work your way up the head. There's some shaping in there. Um, I'm probably gonna embroider on the eyes rather than doing safety eyes. Um, I don't really love how safety eyes look. They kind of freak me out a little. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna do embroidered eyes. And then, so here's up the neck and working up his back. And I can't tell you right now even if it looks like what it's supposed to look like because I don't know. I do know here is where the ears are gonna be. <laughs> this is one of the type of things where you just really have to trust the pattern writer because right now it looks like absolutely nothing to me. I mean, look at that. It doesn't look like anything. Excuse me, sir. That belongs to me. Okay, and then for the jacket, I have this um, Angora Moose yarn. <laughs> Alfie, stop. You little dickens. You're a troublemaker. Um, this one's called Easter Egger, like the chickens that lay the Easter egg um, eggs. And this is naturally dyed with black beans. Can you believe black beans make that beautiful light blue? So anyway, I'm planning on making his little blue jacket out of this lovely pale, pale, greeny blue. So it'll be an overall very pastel-y look. So happy with how that's coming along. Yes. So hopefully um, lots of people are excited about the um, make along. We sure are. So. Um, I'm excited to see things, people using the hashtag um, Beatrix Potter Mal 2020. Um, it's fun to see the things people are working on. We've had at least one completed object already. It was these really cute um, pots with decoupaged um, Peter Rabbit napkin on it. It looks super cute. Um, forgot to grab the name of the gal who did that but I'll pop her name on here in case you want to look at that super cute idea um so yeah that's really about all I have as far as what I'm working on currently um I will show you a couple of the things I have um, recently purchased um I forgot to grab the yarn let me grab those from up here these I found on Etsy um, Etsy might have even suggested the dyer to me. Um, it is Shebe Fibers Etc. And this color is called Just Gotta Hold On. So it's mostly natural colored and then it's got 
just a little bit of rainbowiness going on right there. So it's really pretty. Let's see if we can show you what it looks like. Look, isn't that fun? Just that tiny little blip of color. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like when it's worked up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this back together. I'm not very good at doing this. I'll mess with it later. This is kind of like, I don't know if any of you have ever had American Girl dolls um, growing up, but Kirsten was my favorite as a kid. And she had the long blonde braids that were in like the loops around her ears. And once you took her braids out to see what her hair looked like undone, you could never get it back in the same way. That's how I feel about yarn. I'm horrible at wrapping them back up. I'll try again later on that, but isn't that just, those colors are just so pretty. Oh, I love it. And then also um, this one from the same dyer called Wildflower. I'm not gonna take this one apart because there's no telling what could happen. Look at those colors. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And I love how the background is overall like aqua, which is my favorite. Mm, so nice. Nice and squidgy. So that is my most recent yarn purchase. Um, and then also I have gotten some books. Um, recently I saw the work of, I probably can't even pronounce her name. It's Veronique Enginger. It's E-N-G-I-N-G-E-R. So it looks like N ginger to me, but that's probably not how you say it. But um, beautiful, beautiful cross stitching. Um, so I got this book because it's never too early to start thinking about Christmas. So there's her name. Veronique Enginger. I don't know. She's French. Um, but it is just so lovely. I haven't done cross stitching in such a long time, but I am very excited to get back into it with these lovely, lovely, lovely things. Okay, here is my favorite page. Just these little, little critters. Look at the little deer and the bunnies and the mousies. The bears and look at that Robin too. Isn't he sweet? With the little babies. Or I guess they're not babies. They don't have babies at Christmas time. But whatever. That's my favorite page. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but make something. It would make really nice little gifts. Or maybe like some pillowcases with little, little things stitched on there. And then um, these ones, scenes with the little children. They're just so precious. Um showed it to my mom she loves it too she's probably gonna make some things out of it and then my my sister Kelsey really liked it too in fact I will probably make her I'm sorry guys I should have marked the page oh yeah this is her favorite page my sister Kelsey Joy you Noel so I may make that for something for her for Christmas so that is really exciting. And then also I got this book, same author. Um, it's got lots of fun things. So it was kind of hard to find English translations of things. Well, of course, like the words on here, they're like the designs are still in French, which is fun. So, but um, it was a little difficult to, to find English translations, um, she must be really popular in Japan because I could find some fun Japanese ones here. I don't really want to give away the pattern, but this is my favorite one in here. Boop. The teapot and teacups, that one looks very cat kids thin to me. Um, but there's just all sorts in this. Like there's um, like old fashioned -y toys. There's some travel theme. It's just all sorts of neat things. So this one is lots of little things. So it would be great to add on to different things. So I also did actually order um, a few or two actually um, Japanese versions 
of some of her patterns. One is fairy tales and one is different regions of France or something like that. But there's some really cute little things in it. So I can't wait to get those. Ordered them off um, Etsy, a seller on there who's actually in Japan. Um, so they may take a little while to get here. Um, but I'll show you once I get those as well. Um, and then also there is this baking with Mary Berry. What? So I pretty much want to start at the beginning and work my way through and just make everything. So lots of delicious, delicious things here. And I'm sure they will all be just scrumptious since they are Mary Berry. So it's a fun book. I love books. There's just something about them. Oh, I do want to make that. Okay. Treacle tart. That is one I want to make. Doesn't that look yum? Mm. So looking forward to cracking on with that. Not that I should. But I'm going to anyway. So that's really about all I have to show you guys. Um, so thanks so much for watching. If you need more information about the Beatrix Potter make along, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And um, yeah, or really any questions about any of this. So I'm not doing show notes anymore. So if you have specific questions about where something you see was bought from or whatever, feel free to reach out. So thanks for watching and happy making. Bye. Alfie, you want to say goodbye? He's chewing my toes. He has a thing for toes. Say bye. Thanks for watching. Happy making. Bye. <laughs> well, I did want to show you guys. This is one other project I've been working on. So this is a vintage sewing chair that my aunt gave me, my great aunt actually. Um, and years ago, probably at least 15 years ago, um, I recovered it. So it was just like wood colored legs and, um, like kind of a vinyl off white fabric on there. Um, so a friend was showing me how to reupholster things and we redid it in these fabrics. So the legs were black and glossy. Um, I have just yesterday repainted them um, with Annie Sloan chalk paint and duck egg. So that really gave it a facelift. And then actually I don't like this fabric really at all anymore. I still like this one and the hound's tooth. So um, I'm actually going to take this fabric that I got from superbuzzy.com. Um, it's a Japanese fabric. Um, there. I'm not going to try to say it because I'll do a terrible job. Um, but here is the fabric. I want to just um, kind of not, it won't be correctly reupholstered. I'm just going to kind of um, cut it out and stitch it over this so that I can keep this. Oh, that doesn't look good. Um, but yeah, maybe I can glue that. But I will um, redo it over this pink part and this pink part here. So I think that should be a fun change as well.